Hi guys and welcome to my 11 week pregnancy vlog. Um, I got confused for a second because it's actually, I'm actually 12 weeks and one day today. Sorry that I'm a bit late, but um, the doctor did say that the baby is measuring at about 11 weeks, 6 days, 12 weeks. So that was yesterday. So today could be 12 weeks or 12 weeks plus one day. I don't know. They said around about that time. So welcome. Um, I am sitting here. I've been editing photos. Mm. And I've just realized that I need to invest in a stand for my phone because currently my phone is balancing on my diary against my computer <laughs> so let's hope it doesn't fall but I'm so excited today because I went for a scan yesterday for my 12 week scan and I'll get into my 11 week but let me just show you my photos of my little baby how cute I don't really know what that angle is but apparently that's the umbilical cord or the foot I'm not sure but look at that little face it's so cute I'm so excited I will try and attach in next week's one uh, I'll try and attach my video and my scans for my 12 week um, so that's super exciting so yeah I went for my 12 week scan yesterday and it was all good and I'm feeling so great about it because I feel like I can kind of relax a bit now because he says it's now towards the end of the first trimester and I think some people debate whether the first trimester ends after 12 weeks or after 13 weeks but we're just going with the fact that the baby is healthy and kicking and dancing around in my tummy, arms going everywhere, legs going everywhere, moving around. So cute. Even though it's only about the size of, well, I think he said it measured 5.7 centimeters, five and a half, or five and a half centimeters. So that is super exciting um, and amazing how quickly it's grown from the size of a little seed. And yeah, I've had a relatively good week. I had Travis's sister's, we had Travis's sister's wedding on Saturday. Sorry, please excuse the mess in my room, my study. Um, yeah, we had Travis's sister's wedding on Saturday and I was a bit nervous about it because of Corona and virus spreading and um, being around so many people there were about a hundred people there and I don't know if it's just psychosymptomatic but I have had a bit of a sore throat for the past few days but I've done this quite often during corona because I am a bit paranoid but I will keep you up to date on how I'm feeling um, I'm feeling very tired and very short of breath, but obviously those are symptoms of pregnancy as well. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure I'm fine. Um, but yeah, it could also be from the late night and, you know, just general sore throat that is quite common in pregnancy because your immune system is already a bit lower. Um, let's hope that's what it is. Because next week is Christmas and I would love to have our first Christmas in our house and we have some family coming over for that and that will be so lovely um so I'm hoping everything is fine and I'm hoping everyone stays healthy and yeah I am I had a terrible week of eating <laughs> ate way too much sugar. Uh, I have suddenly had a craving for sweets, which is quite rare for me. I used to like sweets when I was like younger, but not so much since I've been an adult. Um, I think 
it was so strange because I was craving only apple flavored sweets. So like fizz pops and fizzes and green licorice apple cables and um, cupcakes and stuff like that, um, which I generally wouldn't really eat, but oh well, that's what I did. And I spit chatted to the guy yesterday because obviously I just want to try to limit my sugar and he said that too much sugar is obviously not a great thing for the baby at all. In terms of diabetes, gestational diabetes, in terms of like growth of the baby, it can grow quite big and um, just trying to eat a bit more healthy this week. Starting from today, I um, have made a few more wise choices in terms of food. So yeah, that's from that point of view and um, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy that I can finally picture my baby and have seen, you know, I was looking at the screen and I was looking at my tummy, I'm like, how is that inside of me? And it's just such a beautiful journey and I just really miss my mom so much yesterday after the scan. I just really wished she could be there and I um, had a bit of an emotional day and but that's okay because emotions come and go. So. Yeah, I just had a bit of a cry and then moved on and realized that obviously remembered my mom is here and she is even closer to me now with part of her inside of me, my little baby. But um, yeah, I just obviously do really miss her and I wish she was here for this. But she is. As I said, I still believe that my mom sent us this baby in some way and it's a part of her. So yeah. That's beautiful. Um, getting super excited. I bought a few little items of clothes. Even though it's early, I feel more secure now that it's edging towards the end of the first trimester. Um, but yeah, symptoms wise, I have been, especially for the last two or three days, uh, feeling really out of breath, as I said to you. Um, feeling really tired again, which I thought had gone over the past two, three weeks, but I'm feeling really sleepy, really tired. Um, I've been getting, my boobs have been super sore and my tummy has been like, you know, when you feel kind of like stretching pains. And it was so funny because at the wedding, in my wedding dress, there were quite a few people who know that I'm pregnant who, sorry, mosquito. Um, like my dad or a few, uh, like Chav's sister came up and said like, oh, it, you can see a little bit of a tummy and you're starting to show a little bit. And at first I was so self-conscious, obviously, because not everybody knows about it. Um, but then I was, you know, so excited because I can't wait to start showing on the outside what I'm feeling on the inside. But yeah, let me show you my tummy. Um, let me just see where I can stand. So yeah, that's my tummy. Let me see if I can just come a bit closer. That's my tummy. Yeah. So definitely well, I can kind of see that there's like a bit of a bump there. Sorry, this isn't a great angle. Let me just see if I can... Yeah. Lighting is terrible. But yeah, that is my tummy. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, I've had a pretty uneventful week. Um, looking forward to Christmas. I was actually saying to Trav that I'm so excited to start getting back in the spirit with... A, there's nothing like a child being super excited for Christmas and 
magical things like that to make you feel like that again, like you're a kid again. So yeah, I'm so excited about that. I'm actually so exhausted. I'm so out of breath that I may go have a nap after this. But let me just show you, I've also got terrible perioral dermatitis. I have had it before. It usually just goes around this area. Um, and it's when your hormones are all over the place, which obviously pregnancy has brought out. I can't take anything for it. I think I used to take an antibiotic called tetralisol or something like that. Obviously, I can't take any of that now. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe it's not so noticeable to someone who... I don't know, it's noticeable to me. And I've been getting some spots and stuff on my forehead, which is also rare for me. But that's okay. All part of the pregnancy. Um, yeah. I don't have much else to say. I I think my dogs have worms, which is another worry now that I'm pregnant. Because the doctor said it's not a great idea to deworm yourself. So I just deworm the dogs. And only if you show signs of actually having worms or anything like that, then it's like a pros versus cons. Uh, scale sort of situation so if the pros outweigh the cons then yeah, I should deworm myself but I'm just monitoring that as well and I'm kind of really looking forward to telling people about the pregnancy and um, for it to be more of a I mean a lot of people know by now I think I've told quite a few family and family friends so looking forward to announcing it though on instagram and facebook and for everyone to know about our cute little baby that's cooking up in there but it was so nice to catch up and thanks so much guys for listening to me to ramble on and hopefully i don't know if you're at the same stage or if you're thinking about getting pregnant or if you have been pregnant and you're watching these it's so nice to know that we there's like a community of people, of mums. And yeah, if you have any questions, always just questions or even just want to get in touch, just pop me a message. And yeah, lots of love. Have a great week. I'll see you next week.